It's not clear who created Sudoku, but it is clear who made it famous. Maki Kaji, who died on Tuesday, August 10th, age 69. In honor of his passing, we will learn about his role in popularizing the number game in today's fabula. So let's open our eyes. Open your eyes for the next saga. For those who never played Sudoku before, Sudoku is a puzzle game where there are 81 squares split into lines, rows, and 3x3 three three boxes. The challenge is to fill each line, row, and box with the numbers 1 to 9 without repeating a number. Sudoku's origins are unclear. In 1895, it appeared in a French newspaper under the name Evil Magic Square. Some have credited Swiss mathematician Euler, who in the 18th century created a similar concept called the Latin Square. Others say it spread from China via India and the Middle East in the 18th century. In 1979, Sudoku appeared in an American puzzle magazine under the name Number Place. In 1984, it reached the desk of a man named Maki Kaji in Japan. Kaji published what was reportedly Japan's first puzzle magazine. It was a very interesting puzzle, fun to solve, Kaji said. But the name, Number Place, did not hit me. I wanted to create a Japanese name. Hum. Numbers. One in each box. Single digits. Kaji explained in a 2008 speech. Okay, I made it. Which means numbers should be single, unmarried. That is the formal name, but it was a bit too long, so we started calling by acronym, Sudoku. Su stands for numbers, and Doku stands for single or unmarried. In the 1980s, Sudoku exploded in Japan, but foreign publishers weren't interested. Finally, in 2004, Kaji said, I turned up unannounced at the Times like an old-fashioned traveling salesman, and got my foot in the door. They published the puzzle the following month and it took off. Kaji tried to perfect Sudoku with a blend of accessibility and challenge. Within a few years, it was big business. Newspapers around the world were including it daily. Kaji didn't trademark the game, and therefore didn't profit off its success. But he wasn't in it for the money. Maki. Why don't you trademark Sudoku in every country? You could be a millionaire. People asked him. I said, no, that's not what I want. I would be happier to see everyone in the world enjoy Sudoku more easily. This is true. I did not become a millionaire, but I'm glad Sudoku is now loved by billions of people. Thank you for watching. See you again for the next time.